Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Nerd Gen Report. I'm your host, Pablo, and joining me, as always, is Mr. Brian Schultz. When you make money, Brian, you have a lot of say. And, <laughs> and, 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 and it's already begun. You got Ryan Reynolds talking about... When I read that, I was like, here we go. Here we go. And I was like, Mahershala, yo, if I was, if I saw Mahershala, man, I would be screaming to the top of my lungs, yo, get out, man. Get out. Because you're being made of mockery. They made a joke at your expense. And now, Ryan Reynolds is talking about Wesley Snipes deserves his own Logan film. Where does that leave you? It's, it's just, it's time for him to go. But, and also now you have <laughs> Chad and Tatum talking about, we can do this gambit. You saw the reaction. That's what he's saying. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm not saying that, oh, it was a great, I mean, he got a good reaction, but come on. Um, I don't think I want to see a whole movie with subtitles of what he's trying to tell us <laughs> of Chad and Tatum with, with, with Gambit. I'm not interested in a story with him. Brian, do you think do you think it's possible that Ryan Reynolds has enough pull now to make that movie happen? A Blade movie? Forget about Channing Tatum. That's not going to happen. But Blade, Brian. Ryan Reynolds has a lot of pull, Brian. Does that happen? Oh. Are we there yet? Um, well, listen, as you say, there's a critical difference between these two post-Deadpool and Wolverine fallouts. One has Ryan Reynolds' blessing and backing. The other does not. I mean, that's really what you need to pay attention to. So let's get the quote out there, the, the post on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then we can dig into it. This is Ryan Reynolds. The reaction when Wesley Snipes enters the movie is the most intense thing I've heard in the theater. People screaming with uninhibited joy and love is also the sound of a legacy. More Blade, please. A Logan-style send-off specifically. Listen. If you are you you you're walking around now as the owner of the highest grossing R-rated movie in history. So yeah, I mean, you got a shot. At, uh, at the very oh, yeah. least, at the very least, right? <laughs> to draw a parallel from the movie, <laughs> we can swap out Happy Hogan for Kevin Feige and Bob Iger, <laughs> and Ryan Reynolds can be on the other side of the desk making his pitch. Like at the very least, that conversation will happen. They will take oh, yes. his call. Oh, yes. Now, taking that call and greenlighting the project would almost certainly require fully scrapping the Ali Blade project, they, which they are in for some dollars, right? I don't care what anyone says. They've spent money. Yes. They built sets. They scheduled shoots, multiple directors, multiple scripts. Like, that's not a freebie. And I'm sure Mahershal has got some kind of money that he's been guaranteed already just to have the part. So... They're out some, some cash if they do this. I also think if they do it, if they do it DC style, which is you say that you can have more than one Elseworlds or whatever you want to call it, I think it dooms the Ali Blade project commercially. Because oh, yeah. if nothing else, this will be a cult hit. It might oh, even yeah. be a legit hit. And quite honestly, if it's done in the style with kind of you know reynolds and snipes having more say and kind of being more true to the spirit of that blade universe it's probably going to be liked better compared to what we've heard so far yeah i don't know if he can pull it off i probably would say the chances are like one in four to one in three that he can get it that far but the longer mm. the ali blade project doesn't happen i would say the better no. odds that this does happen what do you think? Do you want it? Do you want to see it? At this point, yeah. I'd rather see that than the promised Blade movie of five years ago that 
the reaction wasn't even as big as the one that Blade got for this movie. Oh that yeah, Brian, for sure. Yeah, for yeah, sure. That reaction, I didn't Brian. Even what you're talking about when you first said it. <laughs> that reaction, Brian, was huge. Brian, I I dabbed a dude that was sitting next to me. I didn't even know him. Yes. You know that? Why would it? People, I'm. T- Listen, executives are hearing that and seeing that are already thinking dollars. Everybody that cheered is a paying customer. Yeah. Every theater that cheered is a paying customer, Brian. What we've seen from, or what we've heard from the Mahershala Ali movie is just delays, 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 delays. It's like, we don't even care anymore right now. We just want, the, I just want him to leave. Because he doesn't deserve this. I don't know what's going on behind the scene. I don't know if it's him. I don't know. I don't know. But he doesn't need to do this film anymore. Um, you know, you could also argue that it, it, w- I think one of the parallels that Reynolds is drawing there is not totally unfair, which is that, you know, he he and Snipes co-starred in what was clearly the worst of the three. Yeah. Late movies. Trinity's Trinity was not a good ending note. What no. hunt? The first one, those are those are good movies. The last one is not. So you could argue there is unfinished business if they're trying to put a bow on on that franchise in a way that Hugh Jackman was constantly searching for that proper swan song as Logan and finally got it in Logan. Um, so you know, look, I don't I don't think the budget would be huge, but then again, they're nah. only, they only wanted to budget a hundred million for the the Ali Blade movie. So if you gave the same hundred million to a sniped Blade movie, could he get? Could that get you? 250 300 i think it could oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah i think could. Five, five and above i mean the I first think. the first two made kind of like t- around 250 300 globally when nobody knew what superhero movies were supposed to be in like 1990 like 1998 dollars so like this one probably could get you oh definitely especially if they keep the tone and they kind of have you know they put it in the hands of a good action director yeah like i think there's enough steam here that it could work again but he, Again, he also kind of gave you the proof. Like, that's the thing. Like, if they just announced this out of the blue, I'd be much more skeptical. The fact that mm-hmm. you saw him for however many scenes he had, and you kind of were like, yeah, he still kind of can be a grizzled blade. And he still can deliver the lines. And he can still deliver some kicks and punches, believably. You're, that, I think, is the biggest thing that, like, as much as you cheer at the first scene, you kind of left the movie being like, he still kind of has it. He oh, yeah. still has it in the bag. Yeah. So that's what makes me think like initially, I think Wesley Snipes was in communication with the MCU about possibly doing the Blade movie. And yeah. Marshall Ali made that phone call and that was a wrap. And that was a wrap. I'm I'm I, I, I'm confident in that being the case, Brian, because of how that transpired how Wesley responded to a lot of those things. And I'm pretty sure there was communication about possibly uh, coming back as Blade. And then that call was made. Well, also, correct me if I'm wrong, I gotta look this out while we're talking, but I believe the John Wick director wanted to do Blade and got turned down. Chad Stahelski. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure he lobbied Marvel to do like a hard action Blade movie. And they said no, because they wanted to do the Ali version. Make that call now. Put him with Snipes and with Reynolds producing. And let, let's let's go to war one more time, you know? I He can't do it I for mean, a long time. That's the only no, thing. Right? That's the only thing. But I don't know. It'd be, it'd Could be he hand movie. off the part? Hand it off to his to they they can hand off the part to what they initially wanted to do. That's what I'm asking. What about him doing that? And they kind of salvage a little that bit of their would be idea. Appropriate. That would be appropriate. Why wouldn't that be appropriate? Because it would be a fail if they would give it to Blade uh, to Ali and then hand it off, and it's like we only get one shot with Blade uh, with Ali, and and that's it. With at least with Wesley Snipes, we can understand that route but again if you go that route then we get no more blade we get his daughter for the rest unless you know everything's gonna restart nothing set in stone with the mcu anymore 
Yeah. But it would be, I guess, appropriate until this, until after Secret Wars, where you can do whatever it is that you're going to do in terms of resetting. I think Reynolds would make that argument. He would say, look, we just did it with Hugh Jackman. Like, this has no, this has no bearing on whatever Wolverine, Kevin Feige, and Marvel want to do going forward. This is entirely backward looking, but makes us money in the meantime. But yeah. the casualty of that is clearly the Ali rendition of this. That that's like it just doesn't work. Like you'd have to read, you'd have to, as you say, wrap things up with the Snipes blade, wait, and then you would have to introduce new blade. Whatever happens at the end of the Snipes blade would then be like your new blade storyline, kind of going forward. So I mean, yeah, I. But I just again, how does you know? It's like um, beginning, you know, beginning of like Rambo two when he's in the he's in like the prison chopping the rocks and like Troutman gets mm-hmm. him out and he's like he's like, sir, do we get to win this time? How does Mahershala Ali get to win? He just goes to death. There's no scenario where he gets to win. Nah. <laughs> I was watching. I was watching a uh, uh, First Blood today. Great movie. Great movie. Yes. <laughs> Great movie. He should have won a at least a nomination for that. The ending for nothing is over. Nothing. <laughs> you just don't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I almost got that whole line down packed because it was so good. Um, chatting Tatum, Brian. This, this, his. He, he's a little bit overzealous in that, you know, yeah, you got a crowd reaction, but that is based on the visualization of you being as gambit and nothing else is based on nothing other than what was rumored and what we saw. And it didn't look bad other than it, 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 it certain, I couldn't see a whole movie him looking like a cosplay. That whole outfit didn't, it was just no. straight out of the comic books. Yeah, it and was it comics accurate, but I thought it was deliberately made to look a little silly. Yes. Yes, I, I think that was not an accident. I think like they knew when they built it for him, you're going to be a little bulky. It is going to look like a Halloween costume. It's just going to have all the elements of Remy LeBeau's actual outfit. But like yeah. if you were doing a serious Gambit movie, you might have those elements, like that. but that costume would have been made differently. But I don't think it changed. Exactly. Like, you know, he's doing, again, I think he's doing kind of a campy, hammed up version of the character. I don't think yeah. that's what I want to see in an actual Gambit movie. It works in the Deadpool and Wolverine shtick. It doesn't work as its own standalone. I don't even want to see a Gambit movie. I don't care who plays it. No, I, I tend to agree. Like, we're, why are we doing that instead of focusing on the X, building up the X-Men? Yeah. But he, you know, again, he sees the dollar signs at the box office and he's got hopes. <laughs> he's got hopes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's like, he is like, I got another chance. I got another chance. Because he was disappointed, apparently, the first time when he was turned down. Oh, when they they they, well, they uh, yeah. buried it, and 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 now he has this re- sort of revival and this possibility of, oh, do people really want to see it? I don't think so, but whatever. It's not like we want to see an Electra joint either. No, you know, it's like well, you don't see her asking for it. <laughs> um, no, I think I mean, in fairness to Channing Tatum, who, as I said, I'm I'm not a huge fan, but he was robbed. I mean, if you're, I mean, they they announced the movie. They greenlit the movie. They sent him to Comic Con to promote the movie, and then the deal oh, wow. happened, and they can't and they canceled it. Like people don't remember, like they did a panel. So, like in fairness to oh, him, wow. like, this this wasn't like a this wasn't a Mahersh, necessarily even a Mahershala Ali situation where it was like stuck in develop. Like they had a plan, they had personnel, wow. they had their story. Like everything was on track, and literally the merger killed it. So, like wow. he was he was robbed of something that was going to happen. Oh, um, got it. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I want to see it. <laughs> no, 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 especially not, especially not now with all of, because listen, whenever the X-Men comes out, it cannot falter. And we tend to say that with every movie that they, they, they're they going to do, it can't falter. It can't, this, the X-Men is something you, it, it can't, because we expect 
Thunderbolts or Captain Captain America Four not to to especially Captain America Four not to be good. We expect certain things not to be good, but with X Men we expect uh, a next level up of what we've gotten in the past. Yeah, I think it's also part of the reason our hopes are lower for Brave New World and Thunderbolts is that you know th those are in some ways have become legacy projects. These are projects that were already done in the same umbrella of which we've seen Marvel produce subpar product, whereas X-Men is on the come. It hasn't happened yet. So they have, yeah. you know, they, they have a chance to really reset, reboot, do things, you know, right and proper. Like they have all that opportunity in front of them. Um, mm -hmm. So we expect more. And obviously the legacy of these characters, um, certainly, you know, in animated form, and then even to, to a lesser extent, there are very high points within, I think, some of the movies that have been done, individual portrayals, individual moments, like, you know, I don't know that they've nailed it, nailed it, like across the board, but like, this is not a franchise that was, has been terrible, and it's certainly been profitable. So yeah, yeah. Expect it should be high, like you should be, you should be thinking these are billion dollar movies when you, when you go, go make them. Yeah. Yeah, so let us know in the comment section below what you guys what you guys think of a possible Wesley Snipes blade. I'm all for it. He looks like he can do it. He thinks he could probably do it. I'm pretty sure he wanted he to do be it. Better too. Can I just say, I bet you if they did announce it, he would look sound and move better. Because there's a big difference between being brought in for a day or two to shoot a couple scenes and do a cameo. And giving him time to get exactly. prepared. That muscle memory will come back. Those martial arts moves will come back. You'll get all the stretches, all the stem cell stuff, all that stuff done so you can get back at it. So um, let's see. Let's see. Um, and also let us know in the comment section below, do you actually would, would you actually like to see a Channing, Channing Tatum Gambit movie? For us here, no. <laughs> And I doubt there's any of you out there that would like to see it. And if you do want to see it, tell us why. It can't be because of Channing Tatum. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What story would you tell regarding Gambit? <laughs> like, I don't know. But let us know in the comments below what you guys think. And we'll see you next time on the Nerd Report. The show goes on! Yeah!